Mona's place was a closed down fun house. I felt like I was walking into a trap. I felt guilty, like I was about to get caught. There had been no lock on the front door. I had wondered why the place wasn't packed with hobos and stray dogs. Little wonder. Your past has a way of sneaking up on you. You'll hear broken echoes of it everywhere, like a bad replay. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it, even if it's all in your head. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at the joke. Buck and I weren't on speaking terms. Or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny. Fun House is a linear sequence of scares. Take it or leave it is the only choice given. Makes you think about free will. Have our choices been made for us because of who we are? Welcome to the next level. I would first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. They must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent, or it was locked. I could have knocked, but I felt an urge to snoop around more, keep acting paranoid. I pretended I had a choice in the matter. and ladies brought to you in part by Gold Touch Brand. The weapons and explosives in her workroom left no questions about her vocation. up to this shameful errand. Mama, leave our parents to this. Mama. You have to 